All right, Pisces, so let's do another reading and see the person on Pisces' mind. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. The person on Pisces' mind for Valentine's Day. How are they moving towards my Pisces? Person most on Pisces' mind. How are they moving towards Pisces for Valentine's Day? Person most on Pisces' mind. How are they moving towards my Pisces? Please remove any of my energy out of this reading. This is for the Pisces people. All right, person most on Pisces' mind. How are they moving towards my Pisces for Valentine's Day 2023? Single jumping cards only. Six of Cups showing itself. So someone here is definitely missing you. Whoa, Knight of Wands. Nine of Coins. Princess of Swords. Okay, so whoever this is, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone here has been watching you, missing you. This could be someone who's single, independent, stable, self-sufficient, good on their own, but they're wanting to rush towards you very passionately. Okay, what? Ace of Cups. No way. All right, Pisces. So... Who is this Princess of Swords? The Emperor. Oh, shit. Pisces, you have an Emperor over here. Aries energy, a father figure, a boss, a boss daddy, a CEO. Somebody who um, is very uh, grounded, stable, an authority figure. Someone who is a take charge, a leader. Someone who's earned all their stripes. Okay. This person's been watching you. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. For some of you guys, this person may even be like drinking to the thought of you, or they may, um, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Hanging Man? Yeah, this person may be feeling stuck. They may have gotten some enlightenment. I don't know if you're at a distance from this person. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Knight of Coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person may also be like wanting to come in and offer you something. Um... Or they've been planning on offering you something, but they may be confused as to how you feel about them. Or they may even be wondering if you have other options. Show me the nine of coins. Justice. <clears throat> Excuse me, Libra and energy. So someone here... Someone here is single, wanting to come in with some type of fairness, balance, restoration, I'm hearing. Restoration. Isn't that like what you do to cars? Hmm. Show me the Knight of Wands. The world. Oh, King of Wands. And the reverse and Three of Wands upright. How random. Okay, so that, like I said, someone here may be at a distance with this Three of Wands in the World card. They may be rushing towards you very passionately, coming in very quickly, or just wanting to take action, send you some type of message. If this is someone, King of Wands in the reverse. This person could be lacking confidence as well. If this person lacks confidence, they may, their love language may be like passion, okay? Because I'm not seeing too much expression of emotion out here. I see that they miss you. They may have been planning something for some time. The Ace of Cups is here. I literally had that song Dark Horse come on my TV. We were just, I channeled the song in a reading the other day. Okay. Um, 
King of Wands in the reverse. Show me this Ace of Cups. The King of Cups. And the Six of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. So this person, there is love. There is attraction. If somebody was like non act Okay, this is weird. If somebody was like, with the world card, that can talk about things being over. You know, cycles completing. So if somebody was a player, in and out, flighty energy, unreliable. Um, for one, this person could be waiting on some sort of success or travel plans. For others, this could be um, somebody who's closing out a cycle with like their King of Wands in the reverse is like my narcissist card. It's like their player, their flighty ways, Knight of Wands. And now it's like they want to come in with the Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands. This person may see you as their counterpart, but this person... Um, depends on what side of this you're on. Somebody here wants a victory and success with you. What's this King of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, this person may not have been communicating. Cancerian, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone here may not have been communicating or there could have been delays in communication or even travel. Uh, someone may not have been in tune with their emotions. Like I said before, somebody may, their love language may have been through passion. But now someone's taking action, making a decision to communicate. To move something forward. So somebody may be opening up. Finding the confidence to express their emotions. Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Or Queen of whatever. Queen of Wands. King of Cups. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. It's like somebody may be finding the confidence to speak about their emotions. In order to have some type of victorious new beginning in love. Why is justice here? The seven of coins. Yeah, somebody, somebody's ready to like invest into a situation. Plant seeds, spend some time. This could be somebody who's um, found some type of stability. This person may have also been very stressed out or burdened with other obligations. Or maybe even some type of legalities. But I feel like they've... You know, the Nine of Coins, Justice Card, it's like they're independent from that. They, when I say that, it's like they are um, released from, or maybe something is over. Why is the Emperor here? Page of Swords. This person's had their eye on you, though. Two of Swords. Eight of Coins. This person could work a lot. What's the Two of Swords? The Five of Cups. So this person may also regret not making a choice or a decision about you. And this person may have like been very focused on their stability, their, uh, their empire with this emperor. But they've always kept their eye on you and they were missing you. So I don't know, do you know this person? Why is the Knight of Coins here? Someone's been planning something for a while. What have they been planning, Spirit? The Hermit. And the Three of Cups reversed. Virgo energy. Th this person may have been planning something for a while because they could have been trying to like get away from frenemies or fake friends or third-party energies that... Um, 
maybe they partied or drank with or overindulged with. Um, but the Hermit talks about doing some self, self-reflecting, self doing some introspection. Three of Cups reverse, like, you know, maybe somebody partied a lot or maybe somebody had a, you know, Three of Cups in the reverse can also talk about, like, groupie, like, uh, people who gossip, you know, go out and party and stuff. But with the Hermit, it's like somebody's been doing some reflecting, trying to isolate themselves away from these people. So somebody may have been trying to, like, detach from people who put them in a lower vibration, Seven of Cups, like, put them in a lower vibration, like a confusing smoke and mirror energy to where they, you know... This person regrets, like, not making a choice or, or ignoring you if you do know this person. Does Pisces know this person? Yes. In the upright, no in the reverse. One more. Uh, I feel like you do, Hangman, Six of Swords, but I feel like this is someone you've already moved on from. Princess of Cups, Queen of Coins. I don't know if they go in the reverse or in the upright, so... Yeah, I feel like this is someone who you've already moved on from. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from this situation and started something new. So, Pisces. Um, I don't care how many readings I do. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Cups. Someone's in their head because they see you as their soulmate, their empress, their, their star. Somebody here is very hopeful. They feel like this something here was fated or destined or you do. Um, I, f I feel like the, I've taken a break in between these readings too. And I feel like, um, some of you guys just straight up, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments tomorrow, like, <laughs> or even throughout this week. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys may have somebody... I don't know how else to say it because I already know like I'm probably going to get backlash in the comments but some of you guys actually do want someone back you know but to me this looks like with this emperor I feel like somebody here was a player they were running the streets because they lack some type of confidence but I feel like somebody's done some type of self-work or introspection here Does this person lack confidence, spirit? Like, what is this? This person coming in, what is their deal? Give me single cards, please. Yeah, I feel like they do lack confidence. Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands reverse, and the Chariot reverse. This person feels stuck. Like, they want to come in and communicate and have some type of truth and clarity, some type of happiness here, some type of growth. They've been waiting on this, or you've been waiting on this, this commitment, this soulmate connection here, this Ten of Cups. Someone wants you to lower your guard, drop your boundaries. Someone here feels stuck. Someone here knows that they need to come in and with, with their with their emotions open and their truth, truth serum. Okay. Like, if they want some type of breakthrough that they need to, like, come correct. And I feel like in this, in the past, possibly... For one, this person may have been involved. This person may have had options. This person may have been confused about their past. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. They could have been moving very slow towards offering you something because maybe they were unsure of what they even freaking wanted. But now they regret not making this choice or this decision. And they could have been moving slow because they were trying to like uh, sever ties with you know, the three cups reverse is like, to me, this is like frenemies, gossipers, other people whose business doesn't need to be in a business here. I don't necessarily see like the ten of cups, two of cups out here. So the, 
there could be travel delays or delays when it comes to communication. Somebody's having a hard, I feel like someone's having a hard time speaking their truth or opening up maybe emotionally because this person's love language could be passion, but they do want to come in and like take charge of a situation. Oh, you did have the Ace of Cups. I feel like whoever this reading is resonating for, and it's not going to be for all of you guys. How does this person truly feel about Pisces? This person that we were just talking about, Spirit, how does this person truly feel? How do they truly feel about Pisces? So Queen of Pentacles was the card that came out. Six of Cups on the bottom. You also have the Death card, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. Someone may um, have been confused about a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe someone from their past. But I feel like someone does want some type of change and transformation. They do miss you. They possibly want something more committed. The hair font. Yeah, they want something more committed. Okay, what else does this person... How does this person feel about Pisces, though? How do they feel about Pisces emotionally? Not of swords, five of cups. They regret not telling you some type of truth or coming in with truth. Yeah, taking some type of action. Wow, damn. Five of... So this person was in a very, like, flighty-ass energy. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, like someone who moved very quickly. They could have been sharp with their tongue. They could have said some things out of impulse. Okay, but the Five of uh, Pentacles, Seven of Swords, this person may have lied, cheated, stole, uh, left your ass out in the cold. Now they regret that. That's how they feel emotionally. No wonder they're having a hard time, like, coming forth and they're insecure. They got a right to be. Well, damn. Okay. So, let's see. Does Pisces have new love coming in? I feel like this is an old, en an old energy, a past energy with trying to come in and like transform a situation with some type of new energy, like wanting to have a new beginning in love. But I feel like there's a lot of water or baggage that's still, because we did see the Ten of Wands too. There's still like a lot of baggage or confusion surrounding this situation. All right. Does Pisces have any new love interest coming in? What's the King of Swords? I feel like this is the same energy I keep picking up on. So whoever's energy I'm tapping into, I got to clear out of it. Um, but um, King of Swords, I feel like somebody's wanting to come in and speak some type of truth to have some type of successful outcome here. Forgiveness, reconciliation, wanting to send some type of messages that they feel heartbroken or about a third party or about a separation. Possibly there could have been some jealousy here. That led to some type of lies, trickery. To be honest, Pisces. Somebody's coming, you know. Hmm. I got to be honest. For whoever this is, whoever this reading is resonating with, this person coming back around. Uh, 
I feel more so that this person's trying to make something right to save, what's the word? Um, to save face, save face or something. Like, you got the Knight of Cups in the reverse, like, I don't know, Page of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person may have said a lot of things out of like jealousy, spite, or envy. They could have been very childish. What is this Knight of Swords? Or King of Swords? Five of Wands. This person liked people fighting over them or liked to put people in competition. It made them, it like fucking pump their ego up. <laughs> Created a lot of smoke and mirrors, had a lot of options. This person, I'm so sorry, but this, whoever this person is, they're like not even, they're not romantic. They're not charming. The Knight of Cups in the reverse, the King of Swords upright. It's like this person does something for an ego fix. And it's almost like they're coming back around judgment, communicating, like wanting to like, send you some type of passionate message or have a plan to like take some type of action towards you. But with the Knight of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords in the reverse, it's like this person's still petty as fuck. Excuse my language, but good Lord. Like this person is still up to some stupid shit, but they have a poker face, like King of Swords. He's like, you know, but it's like they're not in tune with their emotions. So to be honest, wherever this person is coming back around, I feel like they're just trying to like save face, you know, like trying to like smooth something over to like, I don't know. What is this person's, why are they doing this? The Ten of Swords because they feel fucking butthurt because you gave up hope on this person. You're very guarded towards this person because they put Ten Swords in your back and now they feel betrayed. And they feel insecure. They feel helpless. To be an Aquarius energy, the chariot in the reverse, four pentacles upright. This person may be like penny pinching. They can't move forward. They're stuck with delays. So yeah, it's like they're trying to save face here. Pisces, you need to use your intuition about this situation. All right, um... What is Pisces advice? What is Pisces advice, please? What is this supposed to mean? Eight of Wands? Nine of Wands? We went on the Seven of Swords. The two of Cups reversed. And the Ten of Swords. Wow. You got like your advice? Nothing, baby. To be fair, but uh, don't don't take this person back. Be fair. Um, the Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups reversed. So definitely don't you know turn this into a relationship. Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. advice I don't know if this is like this person's energy or this is like actual advice I feel like don't this person isn't relationship material I'm sorry this person's a cheater they're flighty they're in and out there's other there's competition you're gonna end up getting betrayed 
Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Run for the hills very quickly. Taurus Libra energy. Six Ten of Swords. Put an end to this painful ass situation. Forgive, but don't forget. Two of Cups reverse. Four of Pentacles upright. Ten of Wands. Yeah, hold back from this person. Be like um, King of Swords. Like, don't get your emotions involved because there's no emotions here, Pisces. This is just someone who wants a good time. This this isn't relationship material. Whoever this is, you need to hold back from them. Communicate clearly, concisely, unemotional. Keep it, you know, I don't even know. There could be children involved for some, not for all. This person moves very quickly. They may travel. So don't fight fire with fire. Fight fire with water. Okay. And just put that shit out. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, I hope it gave you guys a little bit of clarity. I'm sorry that's not like, oh my gosh, Pisces, you have your knight in shining armor or your princess Wanda Buka coming in. I don't know. It's not that. Um, I definitely feel like we're not even in retrograde, are we? No, we're not. Not even close either. I feel like y'all got the ghost of Christmas past like coming back around. Um, trying to like, I want to say, tell you what you want to hear. I, but again, I feel like they're doing it to like make something right because this person may be getting their ass kicked with like karma or something. Because the energy that I see is like, they will say anything, do anything kind of to get right with you but like no intention of a I don't know Pisces I'm gonna leave this reading here if it resonates let me know smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next one